Well, in 2021, we, we published a new, what used to be an NRC, but it's now called NASM. This is the book from 2001 it's replacing. Uh, almost every chapter, in fact, every chapter has been revised. Uh, some chapters have been re revised extensively. So some of the major changes, again, everything's been changed, but some of the major changes is first, we, we spent some time discussing um, what a requirement is. And, and by our definition, it meets half the population that you define. And we discussed a few other things on variation and, and other things you should consider when you're setting up specifications for diets. Uh, the chapter on dry matter intake is totally new, new equations. They work better than the old equations, especially with higher producing cows. And they also include diet factors. So a diet with a lot of fiber, cows will eat less than a diet with less fiber. And that's not, not been in other, other equations. Uh, the energy chapter, we talk about energy supply. That's just been, uh, I'm going to say revised, not extensively revised, but it's, it's more accurate. On the requirement and maintenance requirement was changed a lot, it increased 25%. The other requirements for energy didn't change very much. Uh, we have a chapter on protein uh, and amino acids. That is totally new. There, there's almost no carryover from the last one. There's a major emphasis on amino acids now. Uh, last time it was just introduced. So major emphasis on amino acids and also a major effort on using diet to predict milk protein yield. And even if you don't... Um, aren't paid for milk protein, that's still a way to look at nitrogen efficiency. If you're close to what, what this model is predicting, it's telling you pretty probably got a good, good, good amino acid profile. But again, the protein chapter, totally new. Amino acid requirements have been and established, and, and we still also have some MP requirements, but we're very much shifting to amino acids. Uh, fiber and carbohydrates been adjusted a little bit more. Now we talk about starch rather than NFC. Uh, the mineral and vitamin chapters, there's two of those. Mineral requirements, most of them have been at least adjusted. Some have been had major adjustments. Magnesium, uh, manganese, zinc, copper, these had major adjustments. Uh, some of the other ones were just, uh, I'm going to call them fine-tuning. Uh, for vitamins, not a lot of changes in the requirements. The discussion and the text and the literature review is all new. We have a chapter on transition cows, new equations for intakes for transition cows. Uh, not so much requirements, new requirements for these cows, but a, a, a new, new revision or revised discussion on metabolic problems, especially hypocalcemia and ketosis and discussions on how you can use nutrition to reduce the prevalence of those, those disorders. The calf chapter, um, totally new, totally new model. It does much better at predicting growth than the former chapter. But again, total, totally new revision of the, of the, of the book and the model. Uh, the heifer chapter, um, some modifications, it's better now at predicting growth but not extensively different than the 2001. Uh, new, we have a chapter then on, on what we call production systems. Grazing systems are discussed there. We've updated the energy requirements for grazing. Uh, we have a chapter on, on environment or the effect of nutrition on environment, um, like nitrogen excretion, mineral excretion, methane. Uh, we have equations there you can use to predict uh, the environmental impact of, of dairying. Uh, there's a chapter on feed analysis. What we recommend for the, for if you're going to use the book, these are the recommended analyses that labs should be using. And then there's the last chapter. The second to last chapter is the feed tables, uh, extensively revised. Uh, a lot of effort went into making these very accurate, especially the variances. The standard deviations are much more accurate than they are in other uh, other uh, nutrient tables. And then the last chapter is simply the the model description, all the all the equations. If you're interested in those, uh, the software of course has all these equations, and most people are just going to use the software 
and not actually re read that uh, chapter with all the math in it. But in conclusion, uh, again, everything has been revised. It should be better at feeding cows. We've learned a lot in 20 years, so it should be better at feeding cows than the one in 2001, which was good. But we continually make improvements and we continually learn new stuff. And the book here, the 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 new eighth edition has pretty much what everything we've learned in the last 20 years. So I, I strongly encourage you to get it and read it. Um, there is going to be, or one is available already, but there will be a Portuguese version of the book available for purchase. Thank you.